Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 355. Non-hemolytic normocytic anemia. Name the three non-hemolytic normocytic anemia. The three non-hemolytic normocytic anemia includes anemia of chronic disease or ACD, aplastic anemia, and anemias related to chronic kidney disease. Describe how anemia of chronic disease occurs. Anemia of chronic disease occurs in patients with chronic illness and inflammation, and in this, what ends up happening is there is an upregulation of hepcidin. Hepcidin is a protein released by the liver. Its job is to bind ferroportin on interstitial mucosal cells and macrophages, thus inhibiting iron transport. So basically, the job of hepcidin is to make the iron stores unable for use. And when this occurs, there is decrease in the release of iron from the macrophages. What are the findings observed in anemia of chronic disease? Because in anemia of chronic disease, there is upregulation of hepcidin, which makes the iron stores unusable. This will lead to a decrease in the level of iron. There's also going to be decrease in the total iron binding capacity, but there is going to be increase in the level of ferritin. And this increase in ferritin is due to there being the presence of iron stores. So because there is a lot of iron stores, the ferritin levels will be increased. One additional thing to note about anemia of chronic disease is that long-standing anemia of chronic disease will convert this non-hemolytic normocytic anemia into microcytic hypochromic anemia. And the reason this happens is because long-standing decreased usability of this iron will cause this condition to start presenting as iron deficiency anemia. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.